brakes the brakes are getting hard the brakes are getting hard like panicking hey guys welcome back to my channel today is another episode of just chat because i'm justine and i like to chat oh um, it's gonna be a story time but before i get into that the reason this video is like a week late or whatever is because last week i had sats and i had to like focus on that but i took them it was hard like it wasn't a big deal but it was hard okay and i get thank god i get another chance to take it because i don't know what my scores are yet but yeah um moving on though this story when did it happen it happened actually a while ago i've been meaning to record this video but like i kept pushing it off for like other videos but so it essentially started when me and my sister we had finished doing flex yeah we finished doing flex we was on our way home actually we was on our way to my uncle's house to go get my little sister and we was on the highway and then you know me i'm like the type of person who can't be on long drives daytime nighttime without getting tired i don't know what it is like if i'm on like a bus car if it's like more than 10 15 minutes i get tired and i knock out so this was like it was kind of like a long ride because we had gone far and we was on the highway and you know me i was asleep right and then like my sister she just goes justine 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 like and i'm like i wake up and i'm like what was going on she's like the car the car and then like we're literally slowing down mind you we're on the highway like and the car is slowing down and like i'm mad confused she's mad confused. i'm like what's going on like what's wrong like why are you slowing down she's like i'm not doing it the car's slowing down like she's like she's like oh the brakes the brakes are getting hard the brakes are getting hard like panicking i'm out here like i'm still like droggy like i don't know what's going on i'm confused as hell i'm like huh like what like and then like i start panicking too because then like we're on the highway and it's like and like these people they drive fast when it's not the highway when it is the highway they just they're on nascar type speed like thank god like the way that the car like i guess broke down it was like a gradual like it just slowed down like it didn't like abruptly stop so like when my sister felt that like the car was slowing down she pulled to the side like the breakdown lane and then we sat there and i'm like what's going on like well why is the car like like what is the reason i mean we don't got a brand new car and it does have some problems but you know we like to pinpoint what the problem is because it was having some like engine problems or whatever but that's not like i didn't think that's like we didn't think that's is that what we thought I, no we didn't think that it was anything else we thought it was still having just like um engine problems like it was like the battery that's what it was the battery kept getting messed up so we're like in the breakout down lane we're in the car like we're like what like what do we do like we're after like we've calmed down from the panic of like sheer doom like nobody hit us or nothing we like uh try to assess the situation and figure out what we need to do and at the time funa my our older sister is still in haiti and it's like she knows all of the, like the i guess i'm gonna say like the little hacks of the car like just the little um troubles that it'd be having and how to fix it so like we try to call her and like that whole situation was like it took forever because she was in haiti connection like all that extra stuff and then what we ended up doing was we ended up calling the tow truck because we ended up calling our insurance which is like they try to get a tow company but come to find out because we was on a highway and i guess like i didn't know that but like specific highways are like um state highways there's like a specific word for it but essentially like you can't get um tow trucks like from different companies to go on that highway to pick you up you have to call the cops to come pick you up and then their tow service takes you to the station or whatever and that's what we ended up doing so we called the insurance after mad long they we found out that they can't even help us with like to get us off there and then they ended up calling the cops for us and then so like 
first off the lighting is changing it's the sun the sun is leaving it's going away i don't know well i know where it's going but you know it's going away um but yeah so we ended up calling they ended up calling the cops and then like the police come first of all we were sitting in there in the highway in the car for like a while because for some reason i feel like the process should be way faster if you need to get like towed out of somewhere especially since it was cold we was on how it was scared it was i was scared my sister was scared and it was loud because all you like like the motion of the car speeding past would literally shake the car and like the wind was blowing we were sitting on the highway like oh my god and then like a first officer came but they weren't for us they were pulling someone over and then so we had to just watch that whole situation go down and then our officer came and then he was just like he told us the right he was just like what do you think is wrong um and then we're like we thought it was engine trouble like so we like told him that like our battery's been having a problem this that and the third and then he was like well okay the reason you can't get a regular tool truck is because this is a commercial area not commercial it's a governmental like secure area so we can't let different tow trucks come in whatever so he goes and waits in the car and then in his police car and then the tow truck comes and then they're like um we can't because there's no space in the tow truck and because of like i guess like covid or whatever um they had to get us um we had to go to where the car was gonna be taken from another like to another vehicle essentially yeah that's what i'm trying to say to another vehicle and we thought we we're just going to be riding with the cop that came but no that wasn't the case that wasn't the situation they brought a van like a prison van like the one that goes like after you someone's been convicted of a crime they've done jail time they're going to like state penitentiary six ten years type truck mind you it's cold and we didn't ride in the front of the truck with the drive we rode in the back like prisoners we wrote like we were in the back and we got scariest thing ever bro we got in the back it's literally a metal box like i'm taller than my sister and my head hit the top of the thing. Like, cause you have to, first of all, you have to crash down mad. Mind you, I'm not huge. Like I'm like five, seven. So like, I'm not massively tall, but my head hit the top of the thing. And it's literally all metal, all white box. And we sit down and then like, there's no seat belt, no nothing. It's now the seats are metal too. Like it's not even like, oh, it's around us is metal and the seat is like um, cushion or anything. The seat is metal, and the only thing you have is like this little strap that's attached to the seat to hold on to. And then, like, we're sitting, I'm joking around because I'm nervous as hell. And when I'm scared, I like make jokes trying to make the situation better. But fear is running to my body like, fear, just straight fear, okay? Just straight fear. And then, actually, I have videos of inside because I was, like, so scared. Um, I'm going to put the videos in. They're, like, not, okay, disclaimer. They're not, they're probably going to be different quality than the video because I recorded them on Snap because I, I sent them, you know, I was trying to pretend like I was arrested, but that's not the point. So, I just sent them. And so, like, I'm going to put the videos in there just to, just, like, show y'all what we were in and, like, what it actually looked like it looked like a giant minivan <laughs> this would they be putting the people in this is a high tech one though this is like straight to the penitentiary and this is not a seatbelt <laughs> oh my god wait i don't got no air girl my head hit the thing up there Oh my god. Girl, that's why well, I told you. This prison transport. That's straight to the slammer. <laughs> <laughs> Book on board. <laughs> it was 
cold. Me and my sister were in there shivering. We were like, oh my God, what if it takes us to jail? I'm like, we didn't do anything. I'm like, that's like, you know, they be convicting black people of crimes when they don't do like, you know, like girl, like just to get serious for a moment, I was actually scared. Cause like, I know, I know like we did nothing. They were here to assist. Like we understand that. But we all know what happens to black people, a lot of black people in America when it comes to the police. And it's like that whole situation. And I'm like, me and my sister were talking about it too back there. I'm like, yo, this is what people have to go through if you're going to jail like this. Like, And I'm like, mind you, it was just us two in there. They'd be like packed with other men. Like, And I'm like, you can barely see outside. Like you can't, like the, the windows were like, board ironed up boarded up gated up gated up i guess you can say because it was like gates over the window so like you can barely see outside it was dark it's just like a whole just scary situation and it's like just to think about it like there are a lot of people who go to jail being innocent and you have to go through that even if you haven't committed a crime like i'm like even if you have committed a crime depending on like how deep your crime was that just situation is scary on its own but then if you haven't done anything wrong and you're being convicted of something that you have never like you didn't do that situation just like makes it 10 times worse because now you're like literally in a physical cage being treated like an animal for a crime you didn't commit i don't know like that whole that whole situation really just like made me think like and it really just put it into perspective like a lot of the stories that you'd be hearing like and it's like of course i never doubted none of those stories but just being in that situation on top of knowing that like a lot of people don't commit crimes but still have to go through this process and or, like a lot of people go to police officers in like search of help or like police are called in order to help someone and they don't do that i was just like i was baffled the whole situation did just like give me an epiphany epiphany i think that's how you say the word um but we didn't go to jail thank god um and they took us to like i guess it's like where regular cars get towed like because i guess like we're not the first car to like stop break down on a highway that can't be accessed by like regular tow trucks so they took us to like this specific center for it and then um yeah they took us there we got out or whatever and then we got to call our tow company for to like okay we got to call our tow company to bring it to the house so that we can like go get it fixed we didn't leave there we had to stay there for mad long because we had to call our uncle to come pick us up because you know the car still wasn't working and we couldn't like the tow company even though they were taking the car to our house they couldn't drop us there so we had to like call our uncle separately it was so cold it was so windy like we got to stay in the first like there's like a little headquarters there we got to stay in there for a while but it was still freezing out and then we were so hungry by then because we had finished like we literally finished doing like i don't know i think it was like maybe three hours of flex i don't remember how long it was but it was long and like so we was cold hungry annoyed because the car wasn't working and just like overall just annoyed and then, then you had to sit there and think about the police system and how black people are being treated in it it was just a lot it was a lot that day it was really a lot and then it's like it's just like whoa i don't know that whole that whole situation was scary heavy and just thought provoking altogether and then so we got picked up and then essentially okay this is what was wrong with the car we ran out of gas <laughs> that's what that's what was wrong with the car that it's not that um the battery fine engine well it wasn't fine the battery still has like issues but that wasn't the reason that it stopped working and the reason we didn't know that we were out of gas is because the gauge wasn't working is that the gauge is that what you call it the dashboard you know there's a dashboard and then it tells you if there's gas if there's no gas that was not working so we didn't know but like in our minds we didn't think it was gas because we had done gas the day prior right but then again, we didn't really think because A, it will like the um, dashboard doesn't go up or down whether you put gas in it, right? So we didn't, when we did gas, we didn't want to 
do too much so that it doesn't overflow so i think we did for like 20 25 dollars but the thing is normally it wouldn't have run out of gas but that day we did go far like we went really far into massachusetts and like that's why it ran out of gas so but we didn't know that at the time and we had to get it told we took it to the auto shop and that was that that was the only issue it was gas but it went to the auto shop and they got like i think they fixed some other like minor stuff but i don't think that's ever gonna happen to us again because we're getting a new car we love to hear it um probably sometime next week or in the past in the next two weeks but we're getting a new car <laughs> yeah we're getting a new car probably gonna show y'all what it looks like it's still gonna probably be a red jeep you know what i i don't know if y'all have seen the the car we have now but the car we have now is a red jeep 2014 i think yeah if you want to look that up or like no you probably don't need to look it up but yeah we're gonna get a new car so that probably won't happen again but like i'm just saying guys think about it if you if you watch today's video one thing i'm saying go do some like are you probably actually you don't even need to do research if you've been on social media if you've been alive and like not under a rock or in a basement hopefully you're not in a basement but you should know that like a lot of the black Lives matter movements a lot of the injustices injustices that are going on and like a lot of people don't like believe it which doesn't make sense as to why you wouldn't believe it when there's cold hard evidence cold hard proof um but just like take a moment to like really think about it really reflect on it and just like even if you're not as like well versed in the topic take it upon yourself to be well versed in it because at the end of the day as a person living in america it may not like if you're like white and it doesn't affect you at all i would just say still it's your country it's good to know what's going on in your country because even if it doesn't affect you firsthand it could affect somebody that's in your life hopefully god forbid it doesn't but i'm saying it could affect somebody and it's good to know like what the law is what the system is what's going on in the system um but yeah that's all i have to for today's chat you know this was a bit heavier than my usual topic but i feel like i still kept it like on a lighter note but thank you for watching you know you can also <laughs> like comment subscribe <laughs> if you want you know let me stop <laughs> let me stop see y'all in another episode